And I remember running out there in the rice. We took off all our heavy gear, carried nothing but an M16. And I remember running out there. It seemed like a long way at the time. It might have been 75 yards. It is a long way if when you're under fire. I ran and ran and ran through that rice, and I couldn't see anybody. And finally, off to my right, a little bit in front of me, I saw the, a splash of green fatigue shirt and a GI lying on his right side with his back towards me. Had no idea who it was. And I saw him there, and I veered off towards him and ran up, threw myself down behind him. And as I, as I got close to him, I could see the back of his jungle fatigue shirt. The whole back of the shirt was covered from side to side with a huge blood stain. And as I got even closer to him, right in the center of that shirt, in the center of his back, there was a bullet hole. And I, as I got the last few yards toward him, I thought, well, this is going to be bad. I can see that. And I threw myself down behind him and crawled up close to him, and he couldn't turn around and look at me, and I didn't know who it was. I got up close, and I looked over his shoulder, and it was a kid named Carl Courtright, who was a brand new replacement. To the best of my knowledge, that's Carl on the left there and when he was when he was whole, that's Carl recently. Carl was lying there and he was, like I said, he was one of the very first replacements, excuse me, one of the most re recent replacements we had gotten in. And I'm quite sure this was the first operation he'd ever gone on. So he's 19 years old, a draftee, and on his first operation he's out and spent an hour in a rice paddy, shot through his spine, and lying there under fire from both sides. And if you're 19 years old and you're brand new in a unit and you don't know anyone and no one knows you and you know you're, you're paralyzed from the waist down, what do you think about for that hour or two hours or so that it takes someone to come out and get you? <laughs>